Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. So if you're new here to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Well today, I am going to review the Huda Beauty's Obsession Palette and this is the Amethyst Palette. So February is around the corner and I wanted to do this color shades because Amethyst is a February stone. So I am going to play around with these beautiful, beautiful shades and I am going to let you know if for me, this $27 palette is worth the money or not. So my face is halfway prepped. I just wanted to jump real quick with the eyes and show you guys this beautiful palette. This is a close up from the palette right here. So I am going to be playing around with this today. It has a three mattes and the rest are shimmers and pressed pigments. I really love the colors in it and the Obsessions collection is very beautiful. Now, is it worth my $27? Stick around and we'll find out together. All right, so going ahead and grabbing my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I am just going to apply it all over my lid. I'm just going to go ahead with my finger today, guys, and just apply that product and tap it in. I find that with my finger, I have a better control of the product and I could take it further in to my inner corner because my face is already prepped and I do not want to ruin it. So just slowly tapping into my inner corner so that way the product doesn't move around too much. And for this, I really recommend that you use your ring finger because it is the finger that less pressure puts on your skin. So if you're going to apply any concealer, eye creams or anything beneath or above your eyes, I recommend you do it with your ring finger. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab some translucent powder and put it over here, corner of my eye. So that way if any fallout appears, you know, I could just wipe it off right after I am finished with the eye look. Really, I do not know if this eye palette has any fallout. We are going to review it together. So hopefully it doesn't. And by the way, this is the first time I purchased any Huda Beauty palette. So I hope, you know, it's worth the money I spent for it. Heard very, very good things about Huda Beauty. So let's just go right in. To start off, I am going to grab this light plum shade you know it doesn't have names the colors don't have any names on them but i'm just going to grab this color right here and put it all over my crease i did grab a lot of product and it doesn't have a fallout so that's pretty good you can see how much product i grabbed right there and now i'm just going to go ahead and apply it on the crease it has a very good pigment that i could say and it is sticking on the lid very nice And of course, this does look a little messy now, but it will look very pretty in a little while. Now I'm just going to grab this purple, but with the pink undertone shade from the palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on top of that shade that I just applied. And I have not had any fallout with this palette, so that's pretty good news. So switching to this very dark, like a very dark plum purple, I am going to apply that on my outer V. And this palette reminds me of my all-time favorite TV show when I was a little girl, which is, you guys can imagine, I mean, all this purple. If it doesn't remind you of Barney, come on, you guys. Who didn't love Barney when they were little? I was obsessed till I was like seven years old or maybe more, but that's our little secret. Don't go telling anyone. <laughs> I used to love, love, love Barney. That was my, that was my dinosaur. <laughs> All 
right, my love, so grabbing my P. Louise base in white, I am going to go ahead and quickly cut the crease. All right, so I am so undecided right now in which one to use and which um, shimmer to use. But I think, you guys, I think I am going to go in with this one because I, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a swatch and see. Let's see if I decide, because I don't want it to look like too purpley. I don't know, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. It is so, so beautiful. I like the other one too, but I want it to look very um, elegant. You know, a nice purple elegant look. So I am just going to go ahead and use this one right here. All right, so what I did on this eye, I'm just going to do it on this eye because I did decide at last minute to use these both um, pressed pigments. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the lighter one towards my inner corner and then I'll just apply the other one that I love so much. It's very beautiful, I could tell you that. I'm going to take a little bit of more product and I'm just going to spritz it just to see the difference on how it looks with spritzing the brush and without. I think it does shine a little more. Either way is fine. Either way they look beautiful. Spritz it or not, it still looks, you know, it looks very nice. So just grabbing my glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, get it open. I will just be using Moonstone right here, which is one of my favorite highlighters on this glow kit. And I will highlight my brow bone. And go ahead right now and highlight my inner corner. So now to bronze, I am going to grab my Hula bronzer. And now I'm just going to wipe away all of the translucent powder that's left there under my eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix these three matte shades and apply it underneath my waterline. Darn that tickles. For my waterline, I am going to grab an eyeliner from Tarte. So this is a Tarte Silk Amazonian Clay Eyeliner in the color Plum. And it has like a little sponge like to blend out the eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out that eyeliner so it could connect with the purple that I put underneath the waterline. Now I'm just going to apply some blush. And once again, I'm grabbing the Moonstone highlighter from the Anastasia Glow Kit. I'm going to go ahead and apply it right here. Ooh, baby, I love your way. Every day. I want to be with you night and day. Every day, eh, eh, eh. oh baby, I love your way. Look at this highlighter pop. I mean, hmm. isn't it just marvelous, girl? I'm telling you, all this makeup has me singing. Pretty soon, I have to go and sign up for American Idol. You guys. <laughs> just joking. Oof. Yes, slay it, slay it. Every day, I wanna be with you night and day. Every day, oh baby, I love your way. 
every day I wanna be with you night and day every day <laughs> all right you guys enough of me goofing around I'm just going to go ahead and pop on some lashes and I will be right back so I'm back with my lashes and now I am going to go ahead and do my lips and I will be using the Maybelline Nude Lust Lipstick. So over on top of that I'm going to grab my Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Pigment and this is the Bad B. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it. Alright you guys, so this is it for today's tutorial. So my thoughts on the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette is that it has a very beautiful, beautiful colors. It didn't have a lot of fallout, I mean, whatsoever. When I applied it on my lid, it was very good to work with. So I really like that about the palette. But now, is it worth $27? I think this will probably be the only one that I will purchase for that price, but that's on you. That's how you believe, you know, you would want to spend your money and on what palettes you want to use. But, you know, for $27, well, I would probably prefer a palette that has all well, different shades, not all purples, not all the same colors. So, yeah, for me, 27 is a little too high, but, you know, overall, it's a very beautiful palette. That's on you. That's your choice i love huda beauty i've used some of their products but this is the first time that i do purchase a palette from them so yeah for me 27 dollars was a little high but you know that's on you if you want to spend your money you know what spend it however you feel on whatever you feel like doing it just like i did on this palette so i have it now i am going to enjoy it and you know what just keep on trying different products because that's what we're here for to try different things to show you guys you know if it's worth it if it's not my personal opinion but at the end of the day hey it's your choice i do encourage you to do whatever you feel so if you feel like buying this beautiful beautiful palette and trying out this lip that i have demonstrated today well then go ahead and feel free to do so i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and remember to subscribe to my channel before you leave and thumbs up oh and before i forget Remember that your inner beauty is what truly reflects your outer beauty. I love you guys so much. Hugs and kisses. Mwah. And see you in the next video.